Good morning, everybody. This is Margaret from Alabama Prepper. Hope everybody's having a wonderful day. It is Wednesday today, uh, a absolutely beautiful day. We have just a little bit of breeze blowing. All in all, it, it, it just couldn't get any better than today. Uh, I wanted to share with you a couple of things that I'm going to be doing on my, my little hummingbird is just having a ball out here. I put him some fresh um, hummingbird food out here. He has done eat a whole uh, hummingbird feeder. I had two out here, but he, he likes one, so I just put out fresh hummingbird food for him this morning. But anyhow, I uh, haven't done any canning lately. I need to. Um, I'm out of some stuff. I've got a lot of empty jars. And uh, I've got to start canning, start filling my pantry back up. Uh, I have some uh, frozen corn. I need to put some more corn up, whole kernel corn. That is the great grandbaby's favorite. Uh, I think I've got one jar left. i got to do that. I've got to do some uh, chicken stock. A lot of things that I've got to do, and hopefully next week, um, things will be better. It's just really, really been very busy around here. I am feeling better. Had an MRI done. Uh, do have some back problems that I didn't know I had. Uh, I done a bone scan on my hip. They called me today. Everything looks good with that. I am doing a lot better. I'm not having to carry my cane everywhere I go, so I'm doing better with that. But anyhow, um, I, I done a video, and I don't know if it'll go out before this video does or not, but uh, in my garden, in my container garden this, this year, I have spent about $300 and so on. I spent about a hundred dollars on my seed potatoes and all my seeds and my tomatoes and peppers and eggplant uh, on all my seeds and everything. I done uh, my beans. I done from seed, squash and cucumbers from seed, uh, sunflowers from seed, um, zinnias, everything I could do from seed. I done it from seed. My all-in-all -all cost for my container garden is around $400, plus what it's going to cost to keep it watered. Uh, it's got so massive now, I'm having to water twice a day, and we are on the city water. But I am going to start, and I've already started. I've done my first van, but I'm going to start growing red wiggler worms. I found a place that I could get what is supposed to be uh, the true red wiggler worms. I've done started my first bin, and I'm fixing to start my second one. Uh, I am going to grow red wiggler worms. Big truck. Uh, for two reasons. My first reason is I want the worm castings out of it. Red wiggler worms make the best worm casting. And it's my, it's my plans to do about 12 bins. I've done one, or tub, maybe I should say tubs. I've done one, I'm fixing to start my second one. And I'm going to raise red wiggler worms. I'm going to use the castings out of those worms for my soil to plant next year. The casting out of worms is some of the best fertilizer that you can have to uh, put in your garden. The second reason I'm raising them uh, is to sell. We're on a very busy highway out here. This highway leads to the interstate to Baldwin County where all of your fishing areas are at. Nobody around here sells wigglers, so 
I will be raising the wigglers for the worm castings, but then I will be selling the worms as I get quite a few. Uh, 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 it's not hard. I've studied a lot. I've looked at a lot of videos, and I think I can do it without any problem. But everything, I have a big, a big pond, a pond, a small pond out there that I had at my greenhouse when I had my greenhouse. And this year is everything dies that what soil that I can save off of every plant will go into that uh, pond. Uh, and I'm going to fill it up with what excess uh, soil that I have left from all my pots. Plus, I'm going to mix my worm castings in it also. The worm castings, I don't know. My worm castings will be, uh, my bedding will be out of shredded cardboard uh, and at shredded newspaper. Now, that's what I will be putting in there. I'm not, at this time, going to use any type of uh, uh, peat or or what do they call it, choir, or whatever you call it. A lot of people use that, but I'm, a lot of people don't use it. So right now, mine's going to be out of shredded cardboard and shredded newspaper because worms, cardboard is one of their favorite foods. And I will be using uh, leftover frozen vegetables and things like that to feed them. Uh, I have my first bin going. I'm starting my second bin. And when I start to set up my third bin, I will bring you along and let you see me sh me set it up. I know there's a lot of videos on, on Raising Worms on YouTube. But it's something I want to do, and I think I'll enjoy it. My husband is 70 years old. He's not in the best health. Uh, he does have a small part-time job out there, and he works 8 to 10 hours a day. And uh, I'm trying to do something to help us out, so maybe he can cut back on a lot of his hours out there. I'm a worker. I love to work. I love to do things. I love my chickens. I love my, my turkeys. I, I have not seen my female turkey in two or three days now. I don't know if something has got her or, as you know, my first turkey, we know that something got her. We have the second turkey, but something got all 15, I think it was, maybe it was 13 eggs. Something got all of her eggs one night. I am still trying to see if I can hatch out the first turkey, turkey hen's eggs, um, May the 10th will be 30 days, so if we don't see anything by 30 days, then I don't think they're going to hatch out. But I have not seen her in about three days. Now, she may be laying again. She may started laying after something got her first eggs. I don't know. My tom turkey is not doing good. Um... I've had several people to come and check him out, and they think he's just exhausted from flirting for the last three or four months. I'm not sure. Never had a turkey. Don't know anything about him, but he is not very spry. But anyhow, uh, love my turkeys. Love my chickens. I have a pond pool full of go fish, love them, love my flowers, uh, and I'm just, you know, I love doing things. So anyhow, uh, raising red wigglers for, to sell, and also for worm castings for my garden next year is going to be my next adventure. I'm not, I am getting back in the kitchen, I'm going to start canning again, i got a lot to can. Got a lot of empty jars. We've eaten a lot of food off of our pantry. I've got to get it all filled back up again. So it's going to be busy. Going to be start being real busy around here. Hopefully my little container garden will produce. I've got little cucumbers. I've got little tomatoes. Everything looks wonderful. And uh, 
I'm very excited about it. So anyhow, just wanted to touch base with you. Uh, thank you so much for watching my channel. If you haven't subscribed to us, please subscribe to us. I'd love to get up to 10,000 subscribers. But if you haven't subscribed to us, please subscribe to us. Hit the notification bell so you'll know every time we put out a video. Thank you for all of my subscribers, and you have a blessed day.